astronomers have discovered a unique super puff planet that is unlike any other they've seen before. This exoplanet is WASP-107b, along with its star, WASP-107. Some of the star's light streams through the exoplanet's extended gas layer. According to researchers, the core mass of this giant exoplanet, WASP-107b, is much lower than what was expected to be necessary to build up an immense gas surrounding giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn. The intriguing discovery was made by a research team at the Caroline Piolet of UDEM's Institute for Research on Exoplanets. And this research suggests that gas giant planets form a lot more easily than was previously thought. This groundbreaking research team was the same team that made the 2019 announcement that they had first detected water on an exoplanet that was located in its star's habitable zone. It has been mentioned that this research addresses the very foundations of how giant planets can form and grow. It provides concrete proof that massive accretion of a gas envelope or layer can be triggered for cores that are much less massive than previously believed. The new analysis of WASP-107b's internal structure has huge implications. WASP-107b was first detected in 2017 around WASP-107, a star that is located approximately 212 light years from Earth in the Virgo constellation. The planet is extremely close to its star, over 16 times closer than the Earth is to the Sun, as huge as Jupiter but 10 times lighter than Jupiter. WASP-107b is one of the least dense exoplanets known. It is a type that astrophysicists have called super puff or cotton candy planets. The team first used observations of WASP-107b obtained at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii to assess its mass more accurately. They utilized the radial velocity method which allows the scientists to determine a planet's mass by observing the wobbling motion of its host star due to the planet's gravitational pull. They concluded that the mass of WASP-107b is about one-tenth that of Jupiter, or approximately 30 times that of our Earth. The research team then did an analysis to determine the planet's most likely internal structure. They came to a shocking conclusion. With such a low density, the planet must have a solid core of no more than four times the mass of our Earth. This means that more than 85% of its mass is included in the thick layer of gas that surrounds its core. By comparison, the planet Neptune, which has a similar mass to WASP-107b, only has 5-15% to of its total mass in its gas layer. Team had a lot of questions surrounding WASP-107b. Questions include how could a planet of such low density form and how did it keep its huge layer of gas from escaping, especially given the planet's close proximity to its star. These questions motivated the team to do a thorough analysis to determine the formation history of WASP-107b. Planets form in the disk of dust and gas that surrounds a young star called a protoplanetary disk. Classical models of gas giant planets formation are based on Jupiter and Saturn. In these, it is theorized that a solid core of at least 10 times more massive than the Earth is required to accumulate a large amount of gas before the disk dissipates. Without a huge core, gas giant planets were not thought able to cross the critical threshold necessary to build up and retain their large gas layers. 
The question then that is posed is, how then do we explain the existence of WASP 107B, which has a much less massive core? For WASP 107B, the most plausible scenario is that the planet formed far away from the star, where the gas in the disk is cold enough that gas accretion can occur quite quickly. The planet was later able to migrate to its current position, either through interactions with the disk or with other planets in the system. The Keck observations of WASP 107B cover a much longer period of time than previous studies and research have, allowing the team to make an additional discovery, the existence of a second planet, WASP 107C, with a mass of about one-third that of Jupiter, considerably more than WASP 107Bs. 107C is also much farther from the central star. It takes three years to complete one orbit around it compared to only 5.7 days for WASP 107b. Also of interest is the eccentricity of the second planet. It is really a high and intriguing planet. This means that its trajectory around the star is more oval than is circular. WASP 107c has in some respects kept the memory of what happened in its system. Its great eccentricity hints at a rather chaotic past, with interactions between the planets which could have led to significant displacements that the one suspected for WASP 107b. Beyond the formation history of these planets, there are still many mysteries surrounding WASP 107b. Research into the planet's atmosphere using the Hubble Space Telescope was published in 2018 and this indicated one surprise, it contains very little methane. Astronomers and researchers alike find this quite strange because for this type of planet, methane should be there in abundance. They are now doing additional analyses of Hubble's observations with the new mass of the planet to see how it will affect the results and to do an examination of the mechanisms that might explain the damage of methane. They also plan to continue studying WASP 107b, hopefully with the James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in 2021, which will provide a much more precise idea of the composition of the planet's atmosphere. Exoplanets like WASP 107b that have no analog in our solar system allows us to better understand the mechanisms of planet formation in general and the resulting variety of exoplanets. It motivates researchers and astronomers to study them in great detail. WASP 107b's density is even lower, a case study for the idea of physics of gas envelope accretion and orbital migration. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this fascinating super puff or cotton candy planet called wasp 107b thanks for watching goodbye